there again. Um, I'm Karen Dillard, Skimmer Social Studies teacher. Hi, I'm Abby Ross, Osprey teacher. And we are going to present our social studies slides to you. Okay, so in fifth grade, we start where the students left off, left off last year in fourth grade. So we pick up from reconstruction and we go all the way until the present. And we will study the four different themes, which is history, geography, civics and government, and economics. Okay, so we always start each class period watching CNN 10, which is a program that gives unbiased news and current events that's happening now. And this is really important because it gets the students to make connections to the past. So the past is always affecting history um, until the present and even into the future. So we're going to go over some of our most trusted resources and I'm sure that you guys have already seen these coming home um, and some of these have already been assigned even. So our first trusted resource is our interactive notebook and we call that our BOC, Book of Knowledge. Uh, so you could hear it either called either way and that is basically where kids glue um, important resources, important notes, important activities um, in class. And we do take a grade for this um, and make sure that it's in order. Kids, if they're absent, they really need to check our um, blog to see what they need to put in their box um, because it's an integral part of our social studies curriculum. Uh, Quizlet is a resource that we use for pre-testing. It's also a resource that we've been using as a study tool. Uh, the vocabulary words are in their book of knowledge, but also they are on Quizlet. Uh, so they can find that there and do various activities with those. Uh, Gallipade is another resource the kids need to have daily. Um, it's the yellow book that I'm sure you guys have seen coming home. And in that book are uh, lessons. It's kind of like a, it is our history book. Um, and the kids will be assigned uh, tasks to fill it out sometimes. And we'll go over it in class. It's a great study tool for upcoming quizzes and um, tests. Brain Pop, I'm sure most of you guys have seen this. We, we use this. It's available to your children on Clever. Uh, World Book is a resource that we have talked about a lot uh, this year. We have really tried to teach your children it's important not to Google. Um, you never, especially when we're talking about history, you never know what is going to come up. Um, so we try to have our kids go through a lot of these resources so that they can actually have a safe resource to look at and we and we recommend if they're going to google they sit by a parent or make sure that that's okay with you guys um but world book encyclopedia is just like the world books um that we grew up with <laughs> it's just online um news ela or newsella is a source that takes newspaper articles and it converts them into um readings that are appropriate for different uh, reading levels. It is a great resource. We usually start out our units using this as kind of a um, foundation, like get to know you, get your feet wet activity. And the kids will take a quick little quiz, four questions on this. Uh, vocabulary, um, maybe you've heard it. They have some great little songs that go along with some of these topics. Uh, Social Studies Weekly is a resource that is both um, used for research, but also uh, a weekly, we assign that weekly. It is due on Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Uh, kids are asked to take the test. Um, they're also asked to answer one race question. So that way they get to practice their writing skills um, and then, of course, another great resource is the teacher website. Mrs. Ross and I share a website. We also write a blog every day. And we really, really want you guys to check that out daily. Okay. 
Okay, now I just wanted to share with you guys the uh, blog, which is on the Social Studies website. Um, I can get there by going to KMS Fifth and uh, clicking on Teacher Websites. Um, and I'm just gonna click on it so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Yeah, I think it's cool for you, Ms. Dillard. Okay. So we have the blog right here. This is probably what you'll use the most. This is actually the table of contents um, that your child daily um, updates and puts their information in. We also take a picture of how we would like it glued into our box. We also highlight information that we want the children to also highlight because we think that it is important enough um, for their studying. Uh, so you can just kind of see all of this is in here. We add really great links. We add um, sometimes extra credit assignments. We add um, lots of photographs, lots of examples. And then um, Mrs. Ross is clicking through some of the other things. Um, books related to our curriculum. Um, we have a lot of great historical fiction books, resources. Um, there's a some simulations and there's a link to Quizlet it looks like and we'll be getting involved with the inventors unit. Here's an online crossword puzzle. Um, we have the about section which is a little bit about Mrs. Ross and I. We've, we've been teaching together for many years. Many years. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see and then we also included at the end local field trips. Unfortunately, we just can't get to all of the field trips, but there are some awesome places that you can go as a family or on the weekends to visit. Um, that would really help us to um, reinforce some of those social studies skills. So uh, we are looking forward to an awesome year in fifth grade social studies. Um, you're excited. All right. Thank you. Bye.